What's up my friendly lads? Today we're going to do a woodcock. Look at that. Uh, I think it's also called timber doodle. Y'all Americans call it timber doodle. Y'all Americans are a little bit weird, man. And uh, they're a little bit bigger over here in Austria. Skinning as in every time. Pretty straight forward. You make a good old cut. Cut. Y'all know the drill. Cut all the way towards the... Actually, let's use some sawdust. <laughs> Sawdust to keep the feathers good. So when we cut the the chest over here, we make our way towards the bone. Kneecap over here, you can already see it, right? <coughs> no, you can't see it, guys. Want to use a little bit more sawdust so the feathers don't get old. Go over here. the kneecap over here and we cut that if we can find the right spot it's a little bit shit that it broke over here so I'm going to remove that with with a side cutter just in case so we don't don't nick into the the skin just to remove the, the sharp bones over here <laughs> I was dancing, I was dancing in the rain. So, we cleared all of the bones. I think you can, oh, shit. I ripped it a little bit, but no worries. How you say that? All of the, the, the legs over here. So they are completely detached from the body over here. So you see? Now we work our way down. Do you want to come a little bit closer actually? So, over here, we need to cut that. Right, that's the anus. You see the, the hip bones over here? That's that's the anus over here. So softly serving us. The Austrian word of the week is saftled. It's saftled having us. If it's saftled, if it does saftle having us, then just use some sawdust. So we cut the anus over here. Or that the thing here. So in this it. The gas to those. So <clears throat> then we have it over here. Nah. And we need to cut that bone over there. Since that is the bone that attaches the tail feathers. I always use a side cutter since you can cut the bone and clean it out later that is kind of the the most difficult part I would think uh, you can make a lot of holes if you don't you know know where you cutting at uh, is that focusing on the pitch uh, on the camera focus on the focus on the focus on the thing yeah Focus on here. Very nice. No, you don't need to cut over here anymore. Just get your thumb in there and wiggle around. Down towards the shoulders. It sounds a little bit... Uh, but... Yo. We need more sawdust. Little taxidermy pro tip over here. When I'm doing that, I leave a little bit of sawdust in there, so when I'm working my way down, it already, you know, already sawdusted, sawdusts my way with me. Oh, I don't know. I think you get what I mean, right? Now I'm going to work the way over here as well, just to get everything away from the feathers. Over here we have the shoulders. Um, I'm just going to side cut them. I'm not going to wiggle my way into it. I don't need that. So I just side cut and away. 
get the skin over the hat here. Now you saw, it's pretty easy. Um, some birds are a little bit more difficult with ducks. You can't do that. Yeah, that's basically it. You can't do it with ducks. Now you get yourself a half thing here. Go in here. I mean, yeah, you don't really see it, right? Get the ears out. Look at that. You can also cut them, but you need to be careful. Oh, let's cut that a little bit further. <laughs> you see over here, uh, over there, are the, actually you know, that is the ear. So you want to cut that, but do it very far behind. Like that. Slowly work your over here. You saw it, right? Yeah. That is the ear. You can pluck it or cut it. So the eyes are pretty similar. You know? Just work your way through. And when you think that you are nearly all the way through there, you cut all the way back here. You know, start over here. Just to be safe that you get the, the eyelid. Huh? Then you have the little hole over here. Snibble that in here, get your finger in there and slowly cut the thin skin around the eye. Then you have a perfect eyelid. Huh? Do that over here as well. Very fast. Just like so. Cut away over there. Be sure that you get those bones with you. Reason why, I'll show you. Let me get some sawdust. Is that you get the tongue with it. But you need to be careful if something is softling, then use some sawdust and everything should be alright. When you first start out, it's, it's definitely a little bit wood, right? kind of want to use gloves or whatever but with time you know you get you get accustomed to the to the smells and to the flesh so in my got a brain in there need to take it out make a good old cut over there clean everything out <clears throat> Is it raining outside the hut or what? So it's rugged. Hailing, right? Hailing. <laughs> Upper arm. Go down here. And you can turn those feathers. You can turn those feathers in one direction. to figure it out and you can remove those from the bone. I go all the way to the wrist I remove the feathers if you can see those are attached to the bone. Yeah, that's why we know that dinosaurs had wings. Yeah, those are attached to the bone over here. Um, I go all the way back here just because I want to remove definitely everything over here. If I do a flying mount which is uh, going to be um, I want to remove as much as possible. So, <clears throat> we got everything skinned out and cleaned up. But I forgot something. Um, we need to remove the Didn't really saw it, but that's the butt. Can you focus? Focus, focus. Can you focus on my butt?
It is a butt. You need to clean it up. And that, that one is kind of weird, but then it looks like that. Like a little flower. Right. It's a trophy. And of course the those feathers. But I removed them already. Um don't know where I put them. I put them right over there. Look at that. What? And more of them. Look at that. Let's Queen up! Did the transition work? <laughs> I'm not too sure. But here we are. Tanning. Same as in every time we're going to use the L9 from, from Putin to syringe the little bits and pieces of flesh we have left. Actually, I can remove that. And we're going to use L1 to brush the skin over here. Look at that. Just like so. <clears throat> now we're going to get back to the syringe over here. And we're going to syringe the, the feet over here. Syringe that. Hey. Syringe that everywhere. Look at that. Into here, into the wrist as well. Just like that. Massage it a little bit in there. Just like so. And the rest we're going to just eat in there. So. Sackle. Sackle. Plastic bag. Eat that boy in there. Now we're going to leave it till tomorrow. Devo imparare italiano un po', ma non nuove, eh? nuove prepariamo un schnipf. Eh? Uh, any gloves? <coughs> I'm going to wash it now, and then we can set in the wires. I already did the mannequin, uh, it's this one, made a couple of days ago. So, I washed it. L5 did, you know, get the wings all spread up, look just like that. Just like that, and into the dryer it goes. Get better. So, we're going to take a wire, go through here, All right. get yourself a pliers and you shape it up, back into the skull over here. Let's make it as flush as possible. All back in there. Now we're going to fill it up with the hot glue. It does. As I say every time, you need to build up those cheeks, right? Just saying this just to let you know right now that we are going to build up those cheeks. Are you a taxidermist that doesn't build up those cheeks? Man. Build up those cheeks. In there, in the middle over here, and a wee bit forward. Just like that. And uh, build up. That was wonderful. God loving eyes. Little trick over here, 
plastic tape. Oh shit. They... Ah. Oh, those wonderful, wonderful God loving neck. Now we're going to turn it back very carefully. Very carefully and. Can't fly away, so take your time. There we go. Look at that. At least we build up those cheeks. Am I right? Building up those cheeks. Looking wonderful. We're going to take the wire I prepared over here. Let's get let's clean up a little bit. I get flimsy. Get the wire. I'll get the wire over here. So We're going to flimse it in the wing over here. Try to stay on the inside. You can see it, right? Look at that. Get through the joint. Nothing has to hurry, right? There is no hurry in Wolf over here. Okay, all the way back here. Look at that. Now another trick, get yourself electric tape, tape that boy on the bone. Then you have your wing, look at that. Why is that so turned? Why do you want to turn man? Don't turn. No turning allowed over here. So, next ring. Same procedure over here. Through the joint over here. Which way all the way back here. Take that boy. Not a wire over here, we can snip that a little bit. But for now we're going to just bend it. So it isn't in the way. Not that much in the way. I'm going to use a little bit of a stiffer wire over here. I think in woodcocks it doesn't really, well, it doesn't really matter because it's a flying mount, but look at that, already did it. Now since it's going to be a flying mount, I'm not going to go all the way through, so I'm going to stop over here. There's a bone over here. We're going to turn the wire again, just so it isn't in the way. <clears throat> oh, I forgot the slit. Does it matter? It really doesn't matter. It's a flying mount. Snip it. And U shape into the booty. It does. Into the booty. The battery cut off, so no. I stitched it all up, you know, and I started to federate. But we need to fix it, right? It's going to be a flying mount. Ah, case. Come. It's going to be a flying mount. It's kind of like that, right? Kind of like that. But we need to fix it on a piece of wood so we can hang it on the wall. And we need to put in some wires because I've got them. I want to put a massive U shape into that into that booty over here. So I can fix it on those two spots over here. Yes, those two spots. So it doesn't turn. And just press them in here, right? Yeah, let's do it. Should work out, hopefully. Otherwise, we'll run into a little bit of a problem. Come here, guys. Hmm. Okay. Let's just leave it outside. <laughs> And we're going to fix it. Okay. U shape into the wood. Snip that wire. Same on the other side. 
and it should be all good. Now we need to figure it out. The wires, I'm going to cut the wires over here. It should, it should hold up. Two, two needles and start feathering. Look at that! Did it! Yeah, I know it's a little bit, you know, it needs to go. Let's go. I need to put that away. I know that. Look at that. Finished by it. Flying. What? Is it flying?